Shout out to official True Drew for tagging me in this post. Now, I have not done a video talking about this person in so long that I almost forgot about them. And I honestly didn't know what was going on with them until uh, recently, which is why I'm making this video. The last time I saw or heard about this chick is she got into a fight with some other palm colored female in the studio and... It was like watching two Tasmanian devils fight in the middle of the desert. Just dust kicking up everywhere. But in case y'all have forgotten who this is, this is Danielle Brigoli, a.k.a. Cash Me Outside, a.k.a. Bad Baby, as she has been going by as this name for the last, I don't know how many years. I guess you could say year or two. Well, apparently... She is saying that her 15 minutes of fame, which is way longer than she needed, she didn't even deserve 15 seconds, in my honest opinion, is now up. Now, you see in this picture right here, she clearly has box braids in her hair. And she recently came under fire for cultural appropriation from mainly black women online saying, you know, we know the usual thing. And then I think the, vi the picture on the right is her responding to it. I don't have the time to want to go and listen to pure ratchetry and speaking of ratchetry. You want to know what's worse than the ratchet is when you have the person that's imitating the ratchet. She falls into the latter. She's worse because she helps to perpetuate and keep it going. I mean, talk about an utter display of foolishness when she was on Dr. Phil when we first discovered her a couple years ago. Even her own dad wanted nothing to do with her. And pretty much blamed her mom. Her mom was the one that was pretty much pimping her out. She was trying to, I guess, be the next Kris Jenner. You know how she did with her kids. But anyway, she went on her little rant or whatever you want to call it. And she basically said what she said. And of course, that didn't help because they clapped back at her even harder. I think it's just the fact that no one really likes this girl. Like people saw how she got put on and what she did. And it's like, damn, it was that easy. But you know why that was. All she had to do was go on Dr. Phil. And then all she said was cash me outside. How about that? And then she blew up just from saying that and just being a loose cannon on a, on a nationally syndicated show. But the main reason I'm coming on here to talk about this is because according to this article from XXL Magazine or XXL Mag, she said that she is done with flame. No done with fame and she's heading back to florida to that i say good riddance you didn't even have to announce you were leaving all you had to do was just pick your dusty bags up and leave but something just tells me that she's not completely done something tells me she's retreating right now because she's facing a lot of heat from this recent debacle that she's in but something tells me she's going to sneak her way back in. Because how many times have many celebrities, especially nowadays, said that they're done with fame or they're done with music, they're done with this, they're done with that, and they pop right back up on the scene? Because many of them crave the attention. And when they don't get the attention that they crave, they pop right back up like a dirty weed. Something tells me she's going to do the same exact thing. She's retreating right now because she can't take the heat. As if people were talking about her enough wasn't bad. But this was the one that broke the, this was the camp, the uh, straw that broke the camel's back. But something else dawned on me too. So we know she got a lot of heat for the box break thing and people was getting at her for cultural appropriation and mainly from black women online. The way that she's framing it and the way that she's saying that she's leaving and after, you know, she's leaving because she's done with fame. The timing of it is very interesting that she's saying this now. Because of the heat that she's been facing from black women online from the box braids or the cultural appropriation thing. When I look at this even deeper, to me, what it says is that she is going. The reason why she's leaving is not because it's becoming too much for her. It's because black women bullied her. That's what I'm gathering that like this is what I'm getting. I'm getting from this that black women came for her heavily online. But the thing is. A lot of black women come for a lot of people online and they still and a lot of them are still here. But she felt so insulted by them. Meanwhile, this woman has been this girl has been insulted by many people and well deserved, might I add. But it was be, when black women came at her for this. Now she wants to say she's done. Yet it was another palm colored 
female by the name of Wo Vicky, another cultural appropriate. I remember when she came out and said that she had like some hint of black in her just because of the way that she talked. That girl is mentally off. And that that, that was the one she got into a fight with um, in the studio. And it, like I said, it just looked like. Like I said, two Tasmanian devils fighting in the middle of a desert. That's exactly what it looked like. But that's why she's saying she's leaving. But something just tells me that she's going to put this on black women and make it seem like black women are bullying her. And that's why she's leaving. To be quite honest, they didn't even have to bully you. And you could have just left. And nobody would have missed you, to be quite honest. I'm just being real. I'm going to read this article and see what else they say or what else she says it says it looks like bad baby is over a life of fame on wednesday december 4th hours after she was heavily criticized for wearing box braids and calling out black women who put down her hairstyle the 16 year old rapper shared a personal message about the price of fame on her instagram story in short bad baby says it's not worth it i'm gonna keep it real i'm not fit for this fame I'm too real. Nobody can handle the truth. And if being attacked for something, I'm going to tell the damn truth about it. And y'all can't handle that notice. And the thing is, I'm reading this and she typed this all as she said all of this in one sentence. It was one long run on sentence. It says, I'm back in Florida with my family living my best life. I could give two fucks about this fame shit. Well, in that case, you need to drop the bad baby because that came with the fame. You need to drop your little blue check mark because that came with the fame. You need to drop everything that came with your fame and go back to being Danielle Brigoli. But here's the thing. You've made ways, whether they were good or not, mainly not. You are now a public figure. You can't. She can't even shake that. This is um, bad baby concluded her missive with this statement. I'm going to stay in Florida and live my real life. Fuck this Hollywood fame shit. Clearly bad baby is over the scrutiny, which once again arrived at her doorstep after she posted a video of herself rocking the brace to her Instagram timeline and subsequently fired some shots at her critics. Many critics accused bestie rapper of cultural appropriation by wearing a hairstyle historically linked to black women. In response, Baby lashed out at the haters but had to double down on her harsh comments because they were being misconstrued. I didn't call black women bald-headed either. That was in a whole different comment that was made about all the people who also had something to say about me. There was multiple race of other races too. Even some white women were accusing me, she wrote on her IG story. And no, I do not personally feel offended that black women wears a straight wig. And I never even said that I don't know where the fuck y'all get some of the see see I'm reading this as she's writing it but it's all written as one run on sentence like none of it's broken up so if it sounds like I'm sounding crazy just know that these are her words not mine she said some of this shit from like why would I be bothered by the way another girl decided to wear their hair I'm surprised she got she spelled I'm surprised she spelled that the, the correct terminology for there the correct way that shit ain't got nothing to do with me as long as she feels she looks good who the fuck cares it's just fucking hair but that twisting people's worst shit ain't gonna work with me i'm gonna always make sure you know exactly what the fuck i mean when i say something overall baby is going through what you can read i'm not gonna read it it's funny because she says she's over fame but she's when people still come at her she's still going clap she's gonna still find a way to i guess in her own way clap back that chick, this girl ain't done with no fame. She'll be back. I've, she, she, Listen, she is going to pop back up like a jack in the box. Mark my words. This is not the last time we're going to be hearing from Danielle Brigoli's old ratchet ass. Yes, I called her ratchet because that's what she is. That's what she chooses to represent herself as. I'm... I wish I could unsee that whole cash me outside thing. That thing got gave me a headache. But I also have to put blame on this on some on uh, some the black people that propped her up. Because when that whole cash me outside thing happened, whenever I saw a meme of that, it was mainly from black people that was posting it. Y'all actually helped propel her into that position. Truth be told, I can honestly stand on my square and say I did not once promote this chick in any sense of form if anything i just couldn't wait for her to be gone but like i said i just have a feeling she's gonna come back 
this isn't the last we heard of her. This isn't the end. She's going to, she's like I said, she's retreating right now. She'll be back. And she's going to pop up when people least expect it. I wonder if she's going to try to make an appearance at the damn BET Awards next year. But we'll see. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one.